नव घोरवहम नव पुष्पसरम नव भावधरम नव लाश्यपरम
Yoga Dharma Yutam Purna Nanda Sutam Dharane Suchitam Bhava Bhava Uchitam Dhanu Dhyana Chitam Nija Vasayutam Panamami Saji Sutta Godavaram Arunam Nayanam Charanam Vasanam Varane Salitam Swaka Namadhuram Guru Tam Sura Sajagata Jivanam Panamami Sachi Sutta Goravaram Panamami Sachi Sutta Goravaram Goravaram Pushpasaram Navabhavadaram Navalasyaparam Navaghoravaram Navapushpasaram Navabhavadaram Navalasyaparam Nava Hashakaram Navam Hemavaram Pranavami Saji Sutta Godavaram Pranamami Saji Sutta Godavaram Pranamami Saji Sutta Godavaram Dhanam Hami Sachi Sutta Godavaram Dhanam Hami Sachi Sutta Godavaram Jayan, Jayan, Jaya Sachi Sutta, Jaya Sachi Sutta, Sachi Tutta, Jaya Sachi Tutta, Jaya Sachi Nandana, Sachi Jaya Sachi Nanda, Jaya Sachi Nanda, Sachi Nanda, Jaya Sachi Nanda. Hey. Hari Bhong, Hari Bhong, Hari Bhong, Hari Bhong. Hey, that I go, Hari Bhong, Hari Bhong, Hari Bhong, Hari Bhong, that I go, that I go, Jaya Pancha Tadva. Vajatadva, Vajatadva, Jai, Vajatadva. Vajatadva, 
Thai Gore Hare 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 Sachi Sutastaka ki jai Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki Gaur Pemanande Hari Hari Yeah, let's see, we can do the translation also. I haven't, I don't have enough time to learn Slovenia, so we'll have to do it in English. <laughs> is, that, is it there in English? Yeah, okay. So. Maybe the devotees can read, like each take a, a particular verse and read one. Read it in English. Somebody start off. I can't see it, that's why. This complexion is the hue of fresh cream tinged with cocoa. Give them the microphone, yeah. Okay, because these, these, these are so beautiful, these descriptions by Sarvabhama. Yeah. His complexion is the hue of fresh cream tinged with kumkum. He is the ever fresh cupid who shoots arrows of newly blossoming flowers. He bears newer and newer moods of emotional ecstasies. He is fond of performing novel dances. He makes ever new jokes that cause much laughter. His brilliant luster is like fresh, freshly cast gold. I bow down to Gora, the beautiful son of Mother Shachi. Anyone else? Okay. Give us uh, give it some volume. Okay. He is endowed with I with ever fresh love of Godhead. His radiant luster is like the color of fresh butter. His fresh attire is arranged in ever new fashions. He relishes ever new mellows of love for Krishna. He shines in ninefold new ways while executing the ninefold processes of devotion. He is premi permeated with a most auspicious loving nature. I bow down to Gora, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. Mm. He is absorbed in devotion to Sri Hari. He maintains the chanting of the names of Hari. While chanting, he count, counts. He counts the holy names on the fingers of his hands. He is addicted to the name of Hari. He always has tears of love well, welling in his eyes. I bow down to Gora, to Gora the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. Mm -hmm. Number four. Yeah, go ahead. You can do it. He is always re uh, removing his suffering of material anxiety for making. He is the goal of life for persons who are dedicated to their supreme interests. Mm. He is inspired the man of because like holiness beasts, anger for the holy of the Krishna Prema. He removes the burning fever of the material world. I bow down the Gaura, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. He motivates pure devo de devotion unto himself. He is most attractive to his beloved ser servitors. By his dramatic dancing, he exhibits the characteristics of the king of Paramours. He causes the, mind, the minds of beautiful young village women to dance. I bow down to Gora, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. <laughs> 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 
izquierda. Don't all try for it at the same time. <laughs> Number six, six. He plays karatas and his throat emits sweet melodious sounds and the vibration notes of the vina and softly played. He thus inspires the devotees to perform dramatic dancing that is uh, infused with respect of his own devotional service. I bow down to Gaura, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. Beautiful, thank you. Okay, who's another volunteer there? Okay. He is accompanied by the Sankirtana movement, which is the religious practice for the age of Kali. He is the son of Nana, Nanda Maharaj. Come again. He is the extraordinarily brilliant ornament of the earth. His preaching mood is suitably adapted to the cir cir cycle of birth and death. He con his conscious is fixed in meditation on his own form of Krishna. He is always accompanied by his transcendental abode. About Gora, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. Mm -hmm. Jai Ho. <laughs> his eyes, the soles of his feet, and his clothing are reddish, like the color that heralds. Heralds the rising sun. Ah, uh, heralds mm -hmm. the rising sun. As he utters his own names, his voice. Falters. 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 He awakens a sweet flavor to life throughout the universe. Mm. I bow down to Gora, the beautiful son of Sa Mother Sachi. Thank you. Sri Sachi Sudastika Kijai. So from this prayer we get a little insight into the nature, the sweet personality of Lord Chaitanya and his activities. <clears throat> okay, so... We'll begin with today's class, it's uh, Canto 7, Chapter 9, uh, Prahlad pacifies the Lord with prayers, verse number 38. <laughs> okay. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Itam Nirtigyam Rishi Deva Jaja Vatarayar We'll try again. Well, no. what? Okay, let's let's start again. Let's start again. Itam Nirtigya Rishi Deva Sata Vatarai. Loka vibhava yase hamsa jagat pratipan. Dharmam mahapurasha pasi yuga nuvritam. Chana kolora yadabasya triyoga tatsotam. Itam nirtigya rishi deva vasavatarai. Lokam vibhavya yase hamsi jagat patipan. Dharmam mahapurusha pasi yuga nuvritam. Chana kolo yad abhayastri yoga uta svatam. Itam nirtika rishi deva javasavatar hair. Lokam vibhava yasi hamsa jagapati pan. Dharmam Mahapurusha Pase Yuga Nutritam Dharmam 
Chana Kolo Yad Abhayastri Yogalta Swatam Deva Seva Deva Seva Vatai Rai Itam, in this way, near, like a human being, such as Lord Krishna and Lord Ramachandra, tirak, like animals, such as a boar, rishi, as a great saint, parasurama, deva, as demigods, jasa, as an aquatic, such as the fish and tortoise, avatarai, by such different incarnations, lokan, all the different planetary systems, vibhavyayasi, you protect, hamsi, you sometimes kill, jagat, Pratipan, persons who have simply created trouble in the world. Dharmam, the principles of religion. Mahapurusha, O oh, great personality. Pasi, you protect. Yuga Anauritam, according to the different millenniums. Chana, covered, Kalo, in the age of Kali, Yat, since, Abhava, have been, and will be in the future. Tri Yuga, name Tri Yuga, Ata, therefore, Sa, the same personality, 
Tom you. The Lord, so Prahlad Maharaj is offering beautiful prayers to Lord Nisringadev and he's describing how the Lord appears in different times and in different forms. In this way, my Lord, you appear in various incarnations as a human being, an animal, a great saint, a demigod, a fish, or a tortoise. Thus, maintaining the entire creation in different planetary systems and killing the demoniac principles. According to the age, O oh my Lord, you protect the principles of religion. In this age, however, you do not assert yourself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and therefore you are known as Tree Yuga, or the Lord who appears in three Yugas. Hmm. It's interesting, this was spoken millions of years ago, and now he's describing Lord Chaitanya. Prophecy. Purport. As the Lord appears to just to maintain Lord Brahma from the attack of Madhu and Kaitaba, he also appeared to protect the great devotee Prahlad Maharaj. Similarly, Lord Chaitanya appeared in order to protect the fallen souls of Kali Yuga. There are four Yugas or millenniums, Satya, Tretya, Dwarpara, Kali. In, in all the Yugas, but Kali Yuga, the Lord appears in various incarnations and asserts himself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But although Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who appears in Kali Yuga, is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he never asserted himself as such. On the contrary, whenever Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was addressed as being as good as Krishna, he blocked his ears and his hands, denying his identity with Krishna because he was playing the part of a devotee. Lord Chaitanya knew that in Kali Yuga, there will be many bogus incarnations pretending to be God, and therefore he avoided asserting himself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is accepted as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. However, in many Vedic literatures, except especially in Srimad Bhagavatam 5, I'm sorry, 11, 532, Krishna Vardam Tvasa Krishnam Sangopanga Saparshadam Yagyai Sankirtanai Praya Yajanti Hi Sumeda Saha. In Kali Yuga, intelligent men worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is always accompanied by his associates such as Nityananda, Advaita Gadadhar, and Srivas. The entire Krishna consciousness movement is based on the principles of the Sankirtan movement inaugurated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, one who tries to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead through the medium of the Sankirtan movement knows everything perfectly. He is Sumedas, a person with substantial intelligence. Omagyan timirandasya gena jana salakaya Chaksu un militam yena tas my Sri Guruvena Maha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stab Titam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kedamayam Dadati Swam Padantikam Vande Ham Shiguro Shiuta Padekamalam Shigurun Vaishnavam Scha Shi Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Dragonatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sa Dvaitam Sarvadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakam Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinabandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavane Suri Vishabhanu Suti Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Pancha Kalpa Taru Vishya Kripa Sindhu Bevacha Patitanam Bhavne Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namaho Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare, 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Gaur Brahmanandi, Vivo. So, this verse spoken by Prahlad Maharaj is right. His prophecy is spoken so long ago, yet he's indicating Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance in a very, what we say, hidden way. And it's interesting because Lord Chaitanya, one of his names is Chana Avatar. <laughs> Chana means hidden. Uh, he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but he appears as his own devotee. And he appears as the best of all devotees just to teach from the position of the, the teacher. Prabhupada would say, when the teacher takes the position of the student and teaches the student in that way, that is the best teaching because the teacher knows what the teacher wants from the student. So becoming the student, he can show the other students how to serve the teacher. This is Lord Chaitanya. Hmm. So he's expert and he enjoys playing the part of his own devotee who Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Radha, Krishna, Nohiyanya, he is the embodiment of Radharani's bhav, or her love for Krishna, which is the highest expression of devotional sentiment ever to be explain uh, what we to, to ever to be demonstrated in any form ever. So uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, well, he's a mystery though. And it's interesting because you, you can go around so many places, even in India, and you'll get different uh, uh, answers if you ask about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. People will say, well, he's a great saint. Others will say, maybe, he, maybe he's an incarnation. Others will say, well, we never even heard of him. Who's that? <laughs> yeah, because, uh, because of the covering, the Lord was very effective in performing his activities in such a covered way that the general mass of people couldn't understand who he was. Even some of his devotees weren't sure. But then, of course, at one point, he did reveal himself in, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead in a very grand display when he performed his Mahaprakash Leela for 21 hours in the house of Sri Thakur which was an ex exhibition of his mercy because the devotees wanted to worship him as the Lord, but they couldn't. And therefore, they were always feeling a little less happy because they couldn't give their full expression. And the Lord would, you know, ignore a lot of times when they would, you know, try to indicate his position as the Supreme Lord. But there were a few intimate associates who could actually speak to him in that way, and he, and but those were very confidential. Was never done generally in public. So Lord Chaitanya is the most interesting and most mysterious manifestation of the Lord, because he not only is he in the role of his devotee, but he's in the role of the best devotee. <laughs> he's in the role of the best devotee. And so he plays different roles, just like those who wanted to worship him. They, uh, they weren't sure how to make that expression. And people sometimes misunderstand. There's one article written by Srila Prabhupada, or actually it might have been spoken, but later written, where he says, don't dis disturb the, the mood of Gora. Don't disturb his mood by making him the enjoyer or making him the the object of enjoyment, making him the object of enjoyment. He is not in the role of the asraya, he is in the role of the one who is taking shelter. So he is worshipped in that mood. But we, of course we know he's the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So sometimes people say, well why do you decorate the Lord so nicely as the Lord on the altar? Why don't you just put him in a dhoti, in a sannyas dunda like that? Because for the sake of worship, we keep his position uh, clear 
and at the same time, we don't try to worship him in that mood that he, you know, he will, you know, it's very difficult. I wish I had the article to explain it a little bit more clearer. Um, anyway, we worship him. We know he's the supreme personality of Godhead, but we worship him by Sankirtan. <laughs> and that's how we worship the Lord. We also dress him nicely, as you can see. All the devotees have got together, made the altar quite gorgeous, you might say. It's really cool. It's actually a meditation. It's actually hard to meditate because there's so many things to look at. <laughs> but if you keep your gaze on the fo on the most important part of that whole thing, then it becomes easy. Uh, such such a, the, the devotees work so nicely to uh, glorify the Lord and uh, please the Lord by giving the devotees a chance to worship with the Lord in such a grand display of sweetness. And that's his mood. He's very, very, very sweet. Why did he come to this material world? This, uh, and he doesn't come so often. He only comes once in every 1,000 Yuga so cycles. So Kali Yuga is 432,000 years. 400. Uh, Dwarpa Yuga is, you double that, 864. And then Treta Yuga, you add another 432. So it's something like 12, 1,296. And then you add another 32, and it's uh, 1 million seven hundred and some. And that's one yuga cycle. And then you multiply that by 1,000. <laughs> so it actually comes to 3 billion, 3 million, is it 3 billion or 3 billion? Milk to buy by? Two. Two. Oh, yeah, because night and day of Brahma, yeah. So it's 864. Four billion three hundred and twenty million years. It's forty million years. So you might say you're kind of lucky because <laughs> he happened to come just five hundred and thirty some years ago. So it's just amazing that, of course, we were always alive somewhere. We might have been with him some other time, but that we don't remember. <laughs> so to to have the opportunity. And therefore, it says that although Kali Yuga is the most difficult age, it's the most degraded age, Manda Sumanda Matayo Manda Bhagu Padra, people cannot really develop the qualities even of a human being, what to speak of a one who is a worshiper of God. There's, and people don't even have human qualities anymore. They All they do is eat, sleep, and mate and defend in different ways and then try to enjoy their senses. It's no better than animal life. That's the age of Kali, and it's going to get only worse. But, you know, Kalir Dosya Nidhi Rajan Astiyako Mahagun Kirtana Eva Krishna Sya Mukta Sangam Param In this age, the chanting of the holy names of the Lord who was ushered in by the Lord Himself to teach by example. Here is the bright light in this dark age of Kali. And therefore, sometimes it says it's the best age to be born in. Why? Because the process of devotional service is not so easy. Very difficult. Extremely difficult. And very, only those who are highly brahminically qualified could actually execute the successful conclusion of bhakti in other ages. We could never do it, not in this age. That's why Mahaprabhu has come, and he's, he's Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Padayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namani Gauda Tristena Maha Namo Mahavandanaya. He is so merciful. He makes the highest available destination of spiritual life available simply through the process of Harinam Sankirtan. Wow. And people like to sing, right? Dance. And everyone likes to eat. <laughs> Mostly everybody, anyway. <laughs> and so the process has become so ridiculously easy. And then Prabhupada would be speaking and he said, 
you still can't do it. <laughs> you would chastise us. <laughs> you st even so, it's so easy, you still can't do it. <laughs> it just shows you how fallen this age is. <laughs> so, but if we emphasize Lord Chaitanya's mood, his mood is three things. Lord Chaitanya emphasized three things. Nam Ruchi, that means chanting, but try to develop a taste for chanting. And how do you get the taste for chanting? Vaishnava Seva. So when you serve Vaishnavas, you, that helps you to develop the taste for chanting the Hare Krishna. So it's connected. That is second part of his mission. So those who make Vaishnava Seva their focus in their Krishna conscious practice will develop an attraction and attachment for chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And then take that same Vaishnava's principle, but extend it a little farther, Jiva Doya. And that is uh, compassion for the fallen conditioned souls by giving them an opportunity to come to Krishna conscious. We call it preaching, teaching, outreach, various types of ways to spread Krishna conscious. So that's Lord Chaitanya's three point movement Vaishnava Seva, Nam Ruchi, Jiva Doya. And these are the three, if we emphasize these three, especially uh, Vaishnava Seva, because even if you're chanting Hare Krishna, if you're not developing a relationships with other Vaishnavas and it's trying to serve the Vaishnavas, your Krishna consciousness won't go beyond a particular level. So it's so important. That's why you see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu you did this beautiful prayer by Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya, he was always trying to serve his devotees. He was the Supreme Lord. Of course, he was in the role of a perfect devotee, but he was always doing that. After he left Navadweep and, and took initiation from Ishwar Puri, he came back, and he was all different. He was a humble Vaishnava before he was the arrogant scholar who was defeating everybody. <laughs> In his humility, what would he do? He would fold the clothes of, of the devotees and give it to them. You know, after they were washed, he would take it and fold it for them and, ha and hand it to them. Yeah, this was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Many times he even served prasadam to his devotees. What else did he do? Oh, so many things he did. And of course, he was always joking with his devotees, not in public. <laughs> And he was always joking, and I was, they were always laughing. <laughs> so he liked to serve his devotees in that way. And he was always thinking how to serve the devotees. And his devotees were just like even when, what was it? I think it was Srila Haridas Thakur, when, uh, when um, Lord Chaitanya had arrived in Jagannath Puri, Srila Haridas Thakur happened to be there and he came to see the Lord. Haridas didn't have a place to stay at the time. And after there was a beautiful greeting between the two, the Lord asked him, where are you staying? Well, he said, well, I got this little hunt. And then he called, he called, uh, who was it? Uh, Kazi Mishra, yeah. And he said, make arrangements for him. Get him, a, get him a nice place to, get him a place to stay. The Lord was always concerned that the devotees had everything they needed for their Krishna conscious practice like that. And more. That was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was really in the mood of Vaishnava Seva. So we'll go back a little bit to why did he appear in this world? Of course, it's mentioned in the fourth chapter of Chaitanya Charitamrita. Uh, there's six different... Uh, reasons. Three are external, three are internal. And in the external reasons, one was by the prayers, not prayers, but strong prayers of Advaita Charya. He was praying so strongly and worshiping the Lord in that mood, offering tulsi leaves, sandalwood paste, garlands on a you know, on a beautiful Shiva Linga at the banks of the Ganges. And, it, oh, and just just making beautiful, beautiful exclamations. He was calling loudly, 
He was like yelling. It sounded the way it's described. He was calling it at the top of his voice. And you could imagine what Mahavishnu sounds when he speaks with full volume. <laughs> and so, yeah, and so this was his intense prayer. Praying, my dear Lord, you know, so many people are here. They're intelligent, but they don't know what to do. They're worshiping demigods. They're worshiping family members. They're worshiping everything but you. <laughs> they have so many, so much opulence, and they have so much scholastic learning, but they don't know the goal of life. You know, if if you don't come, I'm going to have to take my chakra and cut off all their heads. That's the only good thing they can benefit from. You know. <laughs> so yeah, so this, this was this was his intensity because he, he's also Lord Shiva. And combined, and therefore, in that mood of Shiva, he has compassion. He really, really wants to. See